<laughs> All right, here we go. Let's get to it. So, glad so many of you can make it today. It's very important, thank you, sir. It's very important that uh, we support our teammates because that someday it will be you that will need that support. So, I appreciate those coming out of their normal schedule to, uh, to make it today because today is a day that uh, only very few will see, unfortunately because of the dedication and commitment factor, all right? So, um, you know, it's just what it is. And very few people will reach this, this position here because they just didn't allow life to get in the way, all right? And so the, um, the first individual I'd like to bring up uh, definitely did not let life get in the way. I'd like to hear his, uh, have, you, have him share his mindset on how he got to this position here with having to go to school full time, work full time, and now as a uh, local law enforcement officer. Um, it's just really inspiring because he's such a young guy that uh, you just don't see that at, that at that age too often, where someone at you know, 18, 19, 21, 22 years old is laser focused in their goals and just don't allow just stuff to come in the way. You know, we all go through tough things. We all have our own hardships. And I know even though he's young, I'm sure he's going, he, he's gone through some stuff to get here. Um, and it's just, and when he shows up, he just brings the heat. There's no excuses, there's no talking. He, he, you know when you shake hands, you're in a fight. And that's what I like about it because I like to fight. I like to get in here and get after it. And I like students that, are, that have the same mindset and grind as I do. And this individual definitely does. So let's go ahead and uh, Mr. Gabriel, come on up, sir. I started here when I was 15. Um, I'm 23 now. Um, so it's been a little over seven years. Uh, it'll be eight years next year. Um, started in high school. Played sports growing up. Uh, you know, everything. Baseball, football, uh, powerlifting, track. And uh, just kind of wanted to do something new. Uh, and so my uncle, uh, who had been training here for a couple of years. Um, Mr. Moya. Yeah, Bob Moya, um, who also got his black belt under Coach Alvarez, had been training here. I think he was a purple belt when I started. So he kind of he kind of inspired me to come. My mom had mentioned to me that he had been here for a while and it was a good school. Um, so I came in here and checked it out, and I've been here ever since. Um, in that amount of time, yeah, I've gone through you know high school, the rest of high school, uh, college. I uh, went to University of North Texas, which was in Denton. Um, still made time to come over here, you know, several days a week, uh, got my degree. Um, after that, uh, I, I joined the uh, Arlington Police Department. I was there, um, and I'm, I'm glad Coach actually mentioned this because I, I wanted to, I wanted to kind of touch on this. So I'm actually not in law enforcement anymore. Mm -hmm. I had a career change, and I wanted to, to, to mention how jujitsu has always been a constant for me, uh, just through the ups and downs of my life. I recently just lost my grandmother to COVID, uh, so that's been tough for me as well. But this has always been an outlet for me. Uh, this has always been somewhere that I can come back and just kind of let everything go, let the worries go. Uh, you know, and it's, it's taken an extreme amount of dedication to do that. And I want to thank you guys and I want to thank my family uh, because, like I said, it, it's taken a lot of sacrifice for me to be here, you know, throughout the years. And I, I have no intention of stopping. Uh, this is what I love to do. I've always loved it. I've loved being here. Uh, I've loved the training, um, and I think it's really the best school around, really. I, I've trained at some other gyms when I was in college, some other small gyms, and this is really a good place to be. And um, yeah, it's just, it's really been a blessing for me. I've, I've been fortunate enough to be able to train here as long as I have and never have any major injuries, um, never have any, you know, major things that have gotten in the way that have allowed me to be here as long as I have, and I'm just blessed, so. Yeah. 
Uh, he also recently uh, got married, so in that process, he got married as well. I want to I wanna, I wanna dig a little deeper on the commute from where he lives to where he was going to school to here. So he lives, you lived in Midlothian at the mm -hmm. time. At the when time, I started. Mm -hmm. When you started. Making the drive here, and then how long did it take to get to, to Denton? So when I was at, in, in college, I would drive a couple days a week to come here. It would take 50 minutes is what it would take for me to get here. I would train at the night class sometimes. I wouldn't get home till after 10 o'clock, you know, because the class ends at 8.30. You know, by the time I got home, you know, especially if there was traffic, you know, it'd be 10 o'clock before I got home and I'd, you know, go to bed and be ready for class the next day, so. And then you said that you would spend a night sometimes at your uncle's house. Correct? My grandfather's. Your yeah. grandfather's so that you could come to the 6 a.m. class or, yeah. or a class. Sometimes I would stay, stay overnight, come, train in the morning at 6 a.m. And then get up, you know, come, train, go take a shower, and then go to school. So he mapped it out, put it all together, and just made it happen. That's what I'm saying. Like, a lot of you don't know that, and you need to hear stuff like this because I get all the excuses. All of them. I've been doing it for over 20 years. I've been a coach. I've had my academy since 2008. I've heard every single excuse there is, and they don't sound good. And then I get an individual like this, and this is it. Because his life changed so much from 15 years old till now, just like everyone else has had. And the guy comes to class. What about the, the dedication like just to your teammates? Do you feel like you, they, they need you here to, to get better? Do you feel like Yeah, you're... and especially, you know, especially as you move up into the rank, you know, a lot of times you need guys that, you know, can help you work. You know, it, it, it's it's good to roll with, you know, somebody that could use your help every now and again, but it means a lot to the guys, especially when you get to the brown and black belt level to be here for your teammates, especially when they're doing competitions like KJ. I mean, I've, I've had classes where I come in and roll six rounds with just KJ, you know, so, because there's nobody else here, you know, so definitely, you know, to the teammates, you know, to my to my coach, you guys, just everybody. So good stuff. This is it. This that's why. That's and on top of that, he's really re respectful young man. Like 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 to me, he's a great representation of of a, a jujitsu black belt, especially coming from here. So big round of applause again. For him. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Go ahead. Got it. Right, we're gonna do more afterwards. All right. So. Oh, you're good, you're good.